So what have I got here? This is a Mugo pine trained in like a semi-cascade style. And as you can see, it is very uh, lush and luxuriant in growth, but it seems to have lost its way a bit. Let me now ask the owner of this tree, Godfrey, to say something about it. So Godfrey, if you can just tell me something about this uh, mugo pine of yours. Okay, I bought it as a sapling about nine, ten years ago, and it was just an upright small from sapling. Here. From here? From here, from the, from the nursery, okay. yeah. And uh, I decided to train it uh, in a cascade. Okay, so uh, this is nine or ten years nine growth. Nine ten years old, yeah. Nine or ten years. And how tall is it? Just four inches or so? About that. Four, four, inches, four yeah. or five inches tall. And now it's at least about 18 inches spread. So it just shows what growth you can get in uh, ten years' time. And all from a small sapling boat at Heron's Nursery. So this is a very challenging tree. So Godfrey has come here today to do a one-to-one -one <laughs> workshop with me. He's brought about six trees. And I think each tree would take two hours, but uh, we'll try and uh, do justice to this. It is such an interesting tree that I don't want to lose the opportunity to work on this because there are so many possibilities that can come out of this tree. So looking at this tree, if I can ask Godfrey to kindly hold the camera, I'm going to show the detail. Let's turn the tree around. So you've got this option. I must say that looking at this tree, although it's so healthy, the healthy nature of the tree is in a way a disadvantage. There is too much growth. We need to make it look like a miniature tree than... Um, rather let it just grow like a round bush or a shrub. So as it stands, without insulting the owner of the tree, it needs to be thinned out to be made and refined to make it look more like a bonsai. So straight away, I can see that this, if we want to continue making it a semi-cascade, this can be one of the uh, cascading branches and can make the head of this, and we can probably take that off so that we have more line visible. Now, I always like to think that every tree has more than one solution. So if I look at this side, this is a possibility. If I look at this side, this is also a possibility. There are so many different possibilities to this tree. So because there are so many choices, it makes life a little more interesting for us. So the first choice I need to make is whether to work from this side, using this as the front, or to make this the front, and to use this as the head and this as the tail. So there are two distinct choices to be made. Very difficult choice. I think there's a bit of conflict over there. So if I'm to use this, I think, on balance, this looks more interesting. Yeah, There's more curve there. Yes. This one is not so interesting because it's a bit straight view from here. So this is how my mind thinks, okay? Because this is more interesting this side, I will now concentrate on this side as being the front. So I can make this the head, and this is what we call the tail or the cascading part of the tree. With a tree like this, I think we would probably have to take off more than half the tree. So if uh, Godfrey, you're prepared to trust me to do it. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> okay, we will proceed by doing that. Okay, so we're going to do that. So there's a lot of wiring involved. I can see straight away. This is not going to be needed. A lot of people wonder how I take decisions so fast. I take decisions fast because I've done it before. So, okay. Taking that off, all the chunk goes off, all that lovely gross is coming off. And we're going to leave this for making driftwood at a later stage. Okay, so we've tidied the tree a little bit by removing that. Okay, that's not the end of story. So we've still got to deal with this. Okay, that's going to be a bit of driftwood.
and do this. almost like an octopus mm. okay I can still see the line I haven't decided what to do with these I will in a minute okay let's deal with this first and the angle of planting of course we can always alter now I need some very thick heavy wire to bend this Mugo pines are quite flexible, so wiring should be fairly easy. I'm using four millimeter wire. I haven't split the branch, usually I do branch splitting with subjects like this, but I think it's flexible enough not to have to split the branch. So I put the wire on, so let's see if I can create some shape. I did warn you we have to take quite a bit off. Yeah, it's okay. So this is what we've taken off so far. This much. Okay. So a bit dense. people who don't have much experience with pines I think deciding how much to cut I think is the most daunting task don't you think eh? yeah, I do yeah. most people who watch my videos they always wonder how I am able to envisage the shape i think that comes with experience don't worry too much about it the more you work on trees the more you will get a feel for what is appropriate yeah so just be patient it will come and less is more is the principle to bear in mind but at the same time don't go over the top. I have come across some people who go to the extreme and remove so much that the tree becomes irredeemable. So there's always a balance to be struck.
Can you see the shape emerging? Yeah, it's fantastic. Huh? Yeah, it's just what I wanted. <laughs> just what you wanted, okay. <laughs> well, it was just a blob before. Right, there was okay. no shape in it at all. All right, you still got to be a ball. You see, there's so much going here. Yeah. Some of this has to come off. I don't think I need it all. So I'm going to decide what to do with this. So many options. This is quite bewildering. I think about three quarters of the trees come off. <laughs> <laughs> but look at it, yeah. more than three quarters of the tree. You can begin to see the tree yeah, now. Yeah, no, it's, it's oh. fantastic. It's got oh. proper, proper shape, hasn't it? Okay, it's yeah. all there. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Now you've done that, will that, that shape be set for a number of years? Yes, yes. Yeah. But by growing it like this, you've given me a lot of options. So. Yeah. In fact, you can take over from here. I don't need to do more. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right, can yeah, you see how the shape has come? Yeah, it's got a All proper right. front as well, isn't All it? All right, yeah. okay, let's carry on. We might as well go the whole hog and do the root. Uh, Well, I'm enjoying it as much as you are. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly you work there. Well, I think that comes with... I never used to realise it until I started videoing it uh, for YouTube. Right. Uh, but I'm not the only person who can do that. A lot of other masters, they all are able to do this. I hope I've been able to explain to you what I've been able to yeah, visualize. Yeah. That. Once you visualize this line of the tree, yeah. the rest is executing your plan. Yeah. Don't be afraid to practice, you know, it still comes with practice. Right. The more you practice, the more you will be able to take the decisions. So with all cascades and semi-cascades, you need a head, which is that, and a tail. Yeah. Head and tail. Now over here, I'm going to show you how I decide. You see all these yes. smaller branches here. This is a very big one. So this is not to scale. So I remove the thick branch. I'm left with the small branches, which is more to scale, you see? Okay. So the whole thing falls into a more scale uh, and the proportion is right. Yes. So that's how I decide on how to cut, what to cut. See, just by pruning up, only put one, no, one, is it two pieces of wire so far? Yes. Just two pieces of wire. See the transformation yeah. I've created just with two pieces of wire. So this is still the going to be the front. I've got to decide what to do with this one. Take this wire down. It's like any problem, whether it's mathematics or whatever. It's so much fun when you see the solution mm -hmm. emerging. You see, I 
honestly didn't have a clue as to what this tree would turn out to be because I was initially looking at the other side as the front and until I turned the tree around and you asked me to turn it around, yeah. uh, I could see another side of the tree. So I'm now producing the proverbial pads. So you can see I've made yeah, a pad that's, here. That's, okay. That's fantastic, yeah. And Very distinctive. Is, yeah. So this is the front of the tree. And I've still got branches at the back. In fact, I don't need to do much more. You know, you can refine mm. it some more. But uh, because we've got so many other trees to make, I think if I leave you to see to the rest, you see, yep. just by pruning these off, yes. I put three pieces of wire. I'm not pruning these. We can refine these. You can refine this. Yeah. Do you feel confident to do this? I think so, yeah. All right. Now so I've you, seen you do, do that. So I've started doing some Thank you. driftwood for you. So you can refine the driftwood as well, the gins. So this is going to be gins. So this will be ginned. So this is really just an exercise in taking decisions and creating the design options which you can execute. So just by doing that, you can see the semi-cascade that we've created now. And those branches at the back are quite nice. And this is what we've taken off. How much do you reckon we've taken off? Is it 60% or 70%? Uh, it's about 70%. 70% probably, probably 75, I would think. It's fantastic. Okay, so you're happy with that? But it's transformed the tree. All Thank right. you, Peter. That's brilliant. Okay. That's fantastic. So let's take a good shot like this. So you can see where it is going to. So it's semi-finished, but because this is your tree, I'm going to give you the pleasure of refining it further. Okay? Yes, thank At you. At least you can now find your way. And having the tree with this at the front is quite acceptable. You know, a lot of cascades yeah. have the corner yeah. as the front. So this is your front. Does it matter the, the pot's not orientated with the tree? No, it's okay. It's, it's okay, perfectly though. okay. Yeah. So you do some more wiring to refine these. Yeah. Create the pads. Yeah. And that's it. So that's the amount we've taken off. Brilliant. It's got a nice head, got a, several cascading parts. So you don't have to just have a single branch cascading. We've got several branches cascading. Yeah. Do, do, do these need that much, do you think? You wire them and see what happens. You've nothing lost. It'll help to thicken the trunk and then bring it back again next year and we'll refine it again. Wire them so they're going down or up? See, if we remove these, yes. it would look too bare, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. You it, gives see? It, it gives it a backdrop, yeah, doesn't it? Yes. It gives perspective to the it, back. It does. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be too small. But would you wire them up? Like, yes, wire them. Because originally flat. with T-Bore, Wire them flat. Right? Oh, wire, wire them flat. flat. Wire them flat. Because with T-Bore originally, I wired them up. Okay. okay. Anyway. That's great. All right. Wire so that's done.